Hello, guys. <laughs> hey, hey, guys. Hey, you guys. <laughs> okay, um, we'll get this started. Um, I mean, this series couldn't come at a, a more relevant time, shall we say, uh, especially with the subject matter. Was there any kind of relu- reluctance from either of you two to get involved with this? Yeah. Um, yeah, I didn't want to do it at all. And so it was a... Uh, it was a it was a something I turned down initially because of the subject matter and the character and it was a world I just had no interest in, and um, in the end, the our brilliant director S J Clarkson um, got on the phone with me and talked to me about the challenge of trying to play someone who doesn't think they've ever done anything wrong, even though the accusation at the center of our story is about as about as heinous a thing as I, I could think of. I didn't, I didn't really have any reservations. I was very ready to play somebody English. I never do that. It was David E. Kelly and Melissa James Gibson. I love a six part binge drama. I love watching them. I love The Undoing and Big Little Lies. So I knew that we were in very capable hands, but I understand that there's an ugliness to the world that this sort of sits in that, that is unappealing, but from a kind of psychological tourism sense, I was quite drawn to. Yeah. I also think okay. it touches on as you said before, really current issues from consent to privilege. Um, it, it couldn't really be coming at a better time. Yeah. Um, also, Rupert, you, like you said, you've done such a good job at, you know, coming across like you didn't realise that you'd done anything wrong in it. And it was a really great performance. But because it's such a triggering subject, for you as a, as a man as well, how much pressure was put, how, did you put on yourself to play that correctly? Um, well, I, I guess we we all tried to honour the characters' different truths because one of the things the series is about is the way that different people remember things in different ways and have their own point of view of, of how events unfolded. So trying to be true to that, even in spite of the fact that I might have personally felt very differently about the whole scenario was part of the challenge. Mm-hmm. And Sienna as well, you put in a, a great performance and it actually made me quite angry at Sophie at the beginning of the series at how she was blindly standing by a man. Was that any kind of a challenge to portray that kind of character? You know, at first I had the same response until she says she's a woman, not a horse. When Chris Clark comes over and refers to this woman that you've had an affair with, his character's had an affair, but you've had an affair with. <laughs> As a filly. And that was the one moment I was like, okay, I, there's more going on here. Um, she's the stakes are really high. This is a woman who's put her entire life and future into, a, you know, into her husband. And she's realizing that that's a paper thin thing to invest in. And I thought that I liked how acerbic she was. I liked that she, you know, I, I did judge that, but I, I think she goes on such an interesting trajectory of, of discovery throughout it that by the end, I kind of, I found much more respect for her, but you know, there are, there are tough things to swallow. She had an agenda to, ra- to marry the right guy, to be the perfect wife, to keep the family together, to be outward facing. And, um, and that's all ripped away because she didn't really invest in herself in any way. Um, so I hope that, that that redeems her slightly, that she does go on that existential crisis journey. It certainly did in my eyes anyway. <laughs> Um, obviously being adapted from a novel as well what was that your kind of like sole go-to for research or was obviously there might be quite a few other avenues to go down to get some (laughs) research I think a bit of both I definitely use the book as a as a bible because it explores the interior of each character's thoughts around the scenes that were uh, within the script but then there are there's so much (coughs) stock footage of of, from my character's perspective, the wives of successful Tory MPs. Um, and then just paying attention to that type of English woman that is mm-hmm. that is contained and reserved and has been raised to, to conceal things. Um, I've never quite mastered that skill, even though I'm English, but I, I found it interesting to play it. <laughs> okay, well, thank you so much for your time today. It's been a pleasure. Short but sweet. <laughs> Likewise. Thanks. Thank you. Well, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey you guys! Hey you guys, huh? Hey you guys, yeah. Is that from the Goonies? Yeah, indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey you guys!